Hi guys, Mike here at tabletby.com and in this clip we're going to have a quick look at the browser on Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich. So, we're just going to talk about the browser and tell you what are the things that have been changed from uh, Honeycomb and what are the improvements. Alright, so we have the browser right here, it's already open and uh, first of all you're going to notice that it looks pretty much the same as before, you have the tabs on top, you have the back and forward uh, buttons, you have the reload button, you have the search over here, you can also use uh, voice search and you have the bookmarks. Uh, of course there are some uh, fonts that have been changed, for instance this for the labels, bookmark, history, saved pages, uh, but there are also some new uh, things as well. Now, this device is right now running on wireless, theoretically the browser should be a bit faster than it was before. Uh, My Transformer Prime is a pre-release unit that still has some problems with wireless uh, so loading time aren't actually as fast as they should be on this test unit uh, but uh, mainly the, the changes are not in terms of speed but in terms of overall uh, quality of, of your navigation so uh, the sites are not loading faster but once they load it will be a lot easier to uh, swipe between pages and to navigate inside a website uh, pr you're, you're seeing here that everything works very nicely I can quickly zoom in and zoom out and it, uh, it has this panning works quite nice, you have the zoom uh, scroll bar over here on the side this was also introduced in honeycomb but you're going to notice that there isn't a lot of screen flickering it was uh, a black flickering on honeycomb that it's no longer available on android 4.0 so overall it really works uh, really works very nice now we also have one of those bigger web pages and we have the verge which is a very graphic intense web page and i'm going to show you a couple of things Theoretically, when going on a page, it will automatically give you the mobile op uh, version of the, that page. And this is, in this case, that version. But you have here the options, and there are a couple of new things. Uh, you have the request desktop site. If you uh, go ahead and check this, it will go and it will load the desktop version of the web page. takes a bit of time, especially for big uh, websites like this one. But uh, once it does, you're going to notice that this is exactly how it looks on a computer or on a PC or on a Mac. It's pretty much the same thing. Now, navigating in here might not be as flawless as on smaller page, because pages because, like I said, this is very big, has a lot of graphic elements, but it's still a very fluent experience. And of course, the browser supports JavaScript, supports Flash. So it's pre a very complete, it's a full browser, you can actually go on all of the websites, you would go on all of the op application, browser application, you would go on a computer. And once again, zooming is okay, and scrolling around is very nice, okay, is very nice as well. Now what they've done, they've actually um, put some of the graphic, uh, graphic intense, uh, uh, features are now uh, churned by the GPU inside of, uh, of this uh, platform. So this tablet is running on Tegra 3. So image rendering, video rendering and the graphics in general are now uh, uh, made by, by the GPU, by the graphic part. And this is why everything is now moving smoothly and it's, uh, they also load a bit faster uh, as well than on the previous generation uh, uh, Android. Alright, so we also have a Flash website here, but before that, let me go ahead and open one of these articles. I'm going to show you one more thing that the browser offers now. Let's just, let's just wait for it to load. So let's say you go on this uh, article and don't really have the time right now to, uh, to read it. Let's say it's a longer article or something. You have this option here, it says save for online, save for offline reading and it saves a, a print of this page and you can then read it later uh, when you don't have an internet connect, uh, connection. So in order to access the save page pages you just have to go ahead and press 
the bookmarks tab and you have here the bookmarks the history and the saved pages and here it is this is load this is from uh, this is an offline an offline version of the page uh, we just uh, saved uh, a second ago and you're going to notice that there are also some others other saved pages here so you can read articles this way um, save them and read them later if you if you want to takes a bit of time to load this page seems so anyway also have some flash websites here uh, and this is something you won't be able to play on the iPad you can see that the animation is actually running quite flawlessly here there are a lot of uh, options uh, not really sure what this do okay so this is running on full screen this is a sci-fi animation it's a bit laggy but overall it, it runs uh, it runs okay okay so it says that I have a new firmware update so this is a flash animation running on a tablet on Android 4.0 um, all right, and we also have this one. This is another flash animation. Uh, overall, the quality is not as good as what you get on a computer of the flash. You can see that there are some uh, pixelized uh, textures over here. But let's go ahead and press launch and see what's gonna happen. Okay, we have to wait. It's loading. It will take a couple of seconds to load. It's not that fast. But uh, I believe that once it loads, it will be able to play this animation quite okay. And of course, these are probably not the kind of websites you will be uh, uh, watching on a tablet, but uh, there are flash uh, elements in most of the modern pages, there still are. And because of that, uh, Android 4.0 and its browser uh, are uh, one of the best uh, mobile options to, to navigate online okay so let's go ahead and wait for this it's almost done okay it's done let's see what's happening So, very nice uh, flash animation here. This is actually a video embedded uh, but with flash in a web page. So, actually very nice here. And I should also show you that uh, you can play uh, all, kind of, all kinds of clips that are embedded inside the uh, uh, web pages. For instance, let's go on our blog on Tablet Byte and I'm going to show you this hands-on of mine from uh, CES and you're going to notice that this is the exact uh, YouTube player that you have on a computer so it's not uh, something in HTML5 or anything like this there are all the options that are available on computers you can also have them right here as well play press play and you get to select the quality right now running on 720p Okay, and go full screen like this. So here we see is the, uh, my name is Kevin, and uh, here is our new So this is running right now uh, a clip uh, embedded in a web page. It's uh, it's from YouTube, but you can also run clips for all kinds of uh, all kinds of sources. Now YouTube clips they can be they are playable on the iPad as well because uh, they have the HTML5 version. But uh, some other uh, websites don't offer HTML5 uh, embeddable content. So for those, you're going to need uh, you're going to need Flash. Okay, those are mainly all the things I wanted to uh, show you about the browser on Android 4.0. More detail for more details, check out our other videos here on uh, Gadget Jam. Thank you. That was Mike with the Asus Pad Transformer Prime and the browser on uh, Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich.